Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NXT. Starting us off, Andre the Giant, Jacob Fatu. Roddy Piper's sticking his nose in the business for some reason. What is this competitor doing out here? Rundown. Spider-Man, not the amazing Spider-Man, but NXT's Spider-Man. Don't worry, I'll solve that problem later on. Defeated Kit Wilson, Stacey Keebler defeated Sonya Deville, Donald Trump defeated Kofi Kingston, Ch the team of Chelsea Green and Rogue, the X-Men Rogue, defeated Shotzi and the teams of Shotzi and Sensational Sherry, and the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Roxanne Perez and Cleo Mera, and Finn the Human avenged his loss from last week against Solo Sokoa by beating him this week on the pre-show. This match is Mark signing, so I didn't hear that one. Involved, uh, the keep a close and they're going to fight. Ooh, Jacob Fatu bringing that ballistic energy, basically. Out of the gate. Oh, and the match of Io Sky and Candice LeRae. Jacob Fatu missed that. Ended in a draw. I forgot about that. I have that written down in a separate spot. Ooh, Fatu just throw. Ooh, stomp on the face. I hope his, uh... I mean, I don't know by the time I say this, it's like two weeks later, but I hope, like, his leg thing, hopefully he was just, like, over, not overselling, but, like, hopefully he was overselling and it's actually not as bad as it was, as it seemed. But I mean, if it was to keep him separate from Roman, it makes sense. Like I said, I'm recording this prior to watching the SmackDown that came after, so last week's SmackDown, so SmackDown that came after SummerSlam, because, you know, we don't know. And I mean, nobody said. It. I mean, sure, Fatu's walking around with a boot, but that don't mean anything, really. So I mean, I guess we'll find out. Andre bringing that aggression. Ooh, dropping Fatu on the ring apron. Well, that didn't work out too well. Oh, it's not gonna end on the count out. The ref's taking too long to count. Ref, you're fired. Again. Just like yesterday, the lady ref. Ooh. Big. Suplex. Yeah. Andre. Oop, Andre busted. Fatu open. He really is like a Tasmanian devil. Ooh, they're fighting. I say that's basically how my mom described him. He's like a Tasmanian devil. Oh, Piper's jumping in. Oh, interference. I'm about to say, like, ref, you better call that. Sefatu's probably a little pissed. And, oh, oh, just kicking Piper in the face. And it won't let me make the stars go away. I mean, hey, technically we're getting two matches for the price of one. Ooh, Andre with that big boot. <laughs> Andre throwing him around. I mean, Andre's handed the win, so I mean, if I were him, I really wouldn't be super mad. But I don't know if this counts as count a win or a draw. You make a good point, Corey. Every day offense just isn't going to cut it in this kind of match. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Ooh, just turn that around. Reversal after reversal, proving they Piper missed that. The fact that Piper interrupted a good match, a good thing that we had going for us to start the show off. I mean, I'm not entirely surprised or mad, but like a little disappointed if I'm being honest. Oh, Andre setting him up for something. Either Piper's going to reverse it or... Ooh! Crushing the ribs. Talk about delivering a beating. Yeah. I'll say a back body suplex. Or no, double underhook suplex. My bad. I'll get these moves right one day. And the day that I do, it won't matter. And that might be the start of the momentum swing he needed. Prime opportunity now for Piper to get some separation. That's ain't the Royal Rumble, but I mean, if it works, it works, you know. And Roddy Piper looking to hype himself up here. He'll head to the ring. Andre, a former NXT champion, Just throwing around. He's probably won a few other titles that I have written down somewhere. Ooh, let's say Piper reversed it. We were just getting slung around. 
You know, if you guys take too long to end this, I'm gonna be very upset. The ref's just standing there like an idiot. Nobody's trying to break them apart. He's got a sleeper locked in. Like, this ain't even a match, it's just a fight. Like, we got other matches to do, ladies and gentlemen. And I worked really hard to make sure that, like, if Ronda Rousey was on the card, she was not in the damn main event. For good reason. Ooh, missed a splash. Nice little slam. Let's pick an Andre up. Ooh. I was about to say, yeah. Uh, can we, like, just call it quits here? Or, like, you waiting for one of y'all to get knocked out? Like, I don't know what's going on at this point. I don't know what the game's doing. And, not gonna lie, kind of irritated. <laughs> he missed. He waited too long. Oh, he's got the sleeper locked in. Andre reversed it again. Whoopee. Big old slam. Ooh, a punch to the gut. Yeah, the ref's like finally deciding to get out of the ring. Damn superplex. Oh, they broke the ring. What the hell? <laughs> that ring's expensive, yo. We still got two matches to go. Why is he not falling? Yeah, that was good, but I'm a little upset here. A little upsetty spaghetti. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got the ring put back together, thankfully. And thankfully, the ring crew was able to do it fast enough. Our next match is going to be a, definitely a fight. John Moxley taking on Samoa Joe. Sammy doesn't have a crowd entrance holding a championship title. The following contest is scheduled for one <laughs> champion. Ball, making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio. Weighing in at Who made this Moxley? I'm looking at the wrong thing. Let's see. Oh, it's do by name of Pro C A Pro C A W S Pound Sign 09854. And Samoa Joe's made by game just name. Pound sign nine seven eight nine six. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drop. This match is gonna be a banger. Gonna be a slapper. It's gonna be a good one. Hopefully they don't break the ring. Also, guys, I would say that competing on Christmas has to be a tremendous thrill. It's not Christmas time, Michael Cole. Shut up. Just because the calendar's in December does not mean anything. Shut up. Blast to be here at ringside on such a special evening. Y'all are on crack. It's August. And they fight. Worked hard to get where they are today to reach the top of the division. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Joe Slamin mocks down. They do Just not plan on stepping like he's down nothing. Anytime soon. Focused and poised. If they play their cards right, guys, this match can be a declarative statement. And ready to face off against the champ, we have a very eager challenger. Dan Jackson, this superstar has to make the most of this opportunity against the champ, even though it's not for the gold. They're slamming their face down. He avoids the damage. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. And that damage to the shoulder could be an ongoing factor now. It might limit range of motion in the entire arm. Placed it over into a suplex. <laughs> 
Taking the wind out with a stop to the solar plexus. Moxley just kicking him in the face right out, of, right out of the corner. Gets him with the counter, and he is finally able to mount some right, Moxley and Joe fighting. Ooh, Joe in the ropes. Mox ducking him. Ooh, nice little crossbody. And the unabated offense continues. <laughs> unabated. His levels of aggression at this point. Oh, knee to the arm. Mox kick to the gut. Oh, now the slap fest starts. Just, just slapping back and forth. Oh, Mox got him. Double underhook. Suplex. That was more of a suplex, Graves. Close to a brain buster. I, I could see where the confusion was. Mox. Oh, he missed the punt. Oh, Joe missed the slap. Mox missed the crossbody. Oh, Samoa Joe with the punches. And the oh, got him down. Submission locked in. That looked like it hurt. Ooh, Joe with the clothesline. Ooh, Joe with the sequence of punches. Ooh, Mox with the two count. You know, I get why, but I mean, it kind of sucks Samoa Joe's WWE career didn't last as long as it did. At least it, you know, went, in terms of in-ring stuff, at least it went the way that it did, you know, multiple championships and everything, but, like, it sucks that his health, I guess you'd say, got in the way, and then also, like, WWE, I get it, didn't want to pay him a competitor's contract when he's just running commentary. I just hope health-wise he's doing good, because I enjoyed Samoa Joe in WWE. Hopefully, like, things don't get worse for him health-wise. Like, hopefully things stay good, and maybe he returns one day as a competitor. But, like, on one hand, though, I get it. Like, you know, he wanted to compete, and WWE didn't want to chance his health. You know, you don't... But, I mean, so it's kind of a catch-22. Ooh, Moxley getting slammed face first into the mat. Ooh. Yeah, okay, that's right. I thought it was a coquina clutch, my clutch, but I couldn't remember. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Smojo got him, scooping him up. And throw it across the ropes. I don't think Joe's got it there. Ooh! I was right. But a little too close for comfort. Keyword there, too close for comfort. Ooh, Joe with the kidneys. Joe with the kidneys. Oh, hopefully Mox don't got no kidney problems. Ooh, the ref almost got in the way of that one. Mox just beating away at Samoa Joe. Oh, Samoa Joe reversed it. Ooh, Samoa, or not Samoa Joe. Moxley with the reversal with the kicks. Actually, it wasn't even a reversal. He's stopping it before it happened. Mox with the knees to the face outside of the ring. At least a good, at least eight, if not nine foot drop. Let's see. 
I'll say actually it might be closer. Well, no, not 10 feet. But like pretty close to it. I need a comparison. I need to put like Braun Strowman next to the ring and kind of compare to see how tall in theory it is. Because like Braun can reach up and grab the top rope and pull himself up. So could Big Show. Big Show was damn near seven foot if I remember correctly. Show. How tall is Big Show? I forget. It's been a hot second. Uh, oh, Big Show is seven foot. Oh, wait. That says build, though. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. I want to say he was about seven foot. Turn inside out with a desperation clothesline. Not build as, but. Okay, 6'11. Uh, let's just say seven foot. And he went, what, to like the middle rope with his head? If not taller, and he could reach the top and pull himself up. So, I mean. I want to say it's probably good, like eight foot at least. 10 foot max of a drop. Here I am getting distracted and both men are like beating each other up in the ring and I'm more worried about talking about someone else's height. I'm a bad commentator. Joe stomping on the back. Ooh, flipping him. Ooh, small Joe with a leg sweep. Joe might have this right here, ladies and gentlemen. Nope, I was wrong. What the hell is going on with Joe's eyes? Ooh, Moxley with a clothesline. As their opponent hooked a couple of jabs, placed it over into a suplex. Maybe it's just the angle that I was seeing it at. Ooh, Moxley with the cross face, yeah. Joe ain't gonna tap. Oh, maybe it's just the game itself. Okay. <laughs> Moxley just exploding out of... Ooh, he's got him! And a DDT. Bulldog. Bulldog, not DDT. Even Moxley's eyes look a little, look a little crazed, so... Can't really say anything. Ooh, flipping him over the shoulder. Joe punching away. Oh, he's got him. Coquina clutch about to be locked in. So Mox is fighting back. Ooh, Mox stole the win. Here is your winner, John A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. I wouldn't call that a fast victory, but that was a surprising victory nonetheless. Because I mean, that was impressive. Because usually the pins don't work. Or that pin doesn't work, I should say. That was amazing. I'll give it that. That was an amazing match. It's interesting to see. Now, this main event's not the most exciting. It's Nikki Cross and Katana Chance. Katana Chance being a former Raw Women's Champion. And I think former NXT Women's Champion, if I remember correctly. Once again. Oh, wait. I can look this up. Hang on. Nikki Cross, so far... The being longest reigning NXT Women's Champ at the moment. And let's see. No, I was wrong. Katana Chance has not won this. But she's a former Raw Women's Champion. I know that. I think twice, actually. Once under the name Caden... Er... K 
Casey Catanzaro and one's under Katana Chance, if I remember correctly. And where is the paper for that? Let's see. I I'm looking at this, ladies and gentlemen, because it's entrance time. So don't mind the shuffling of papers. Set your DVR. Katana's gonna do something amazing. Not nope, my bad one time. From Glen Ridge, New Jersey. Bailey and Brie Bell are the two time champs. My bad, y'all. But still, former champion. Yeah, and Nikki Cross is my longest reigning. I've been to look that up too. She's always in a fun loving, good mood. Yeah, very high ah. competitor as well. Yeah, she's held the title since May. So yeah, she's coming on three months as champ. It's felt longer than that though. Maybe because it, her reign started. Oh, no, it started in 23. My bad, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a year and three months that Nikki Cross has been NXT Women's Champion. My bad. I was looking at the date, and I'm like, that doesn't seem right. She's held it longer than that. That's why. She has held the title longest because she has held it for almost three months shy of a year and a half as champion. These girls are tiny. It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Just pointing out the obvious. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That makes her such a fierce competitor. She's such a hard opponent to read and prepare for. It's a futile endeavor. As a, a former American Ninja Warrior, I think the only American Ninja Warrior to join WWE too, and it's like a uh, Nikki Cross. Katana Chance. Incredible might be an understatement when it comes to Chance Saxton. For what she lacks in size, she more than makes up for in the ring. Chance has a unique bag of unpredictable offense. Satellite DDT. Ooh, what a forearm club. Quick thinking pays off. She did her homework there. Katana Chance measuring just five feet tall. Does that put her at a disadvantage tonight? The bigger an underdog, the bigger her fight. Cole. Chance doesn't see anything as too big or too much for her. She never has. She's faced every challenge with a clear head. I say, yeah, Nikki Cross has been a dominant champ, honestly. And I've even made, like, title matches. Obviously off screen, but, like, I've made title matches. And she, you know, has been tearing it up as champ, honestly. Ducking Katana. Ducking her again. And deck breaker. <laughs> Just a crazy elbow. That's what I'll call it. The crazy elbow. That's gonna hurt. Ooh, kick to the spine. I say she didn't even kick out of two. Now, if Katana wins, she got a championship match. If she loses. Well, as long as Ronda Rousey's that number one contender, I won't complain. Face gouge. Oh, God. That was just wrong. You should be a I mean, I, I don't think this match will top the Moxley Joe match. However, I do feel like this match is potentially worthy of being the main event, you know? Like, I wasn't sure about it at first, but I'm like, nah, I'll leave it. I won't mess with anything. Let's just see what happens. Fans are a little lackluster at the moment, but I mean, they watched the ring break. They watched Moxley and Samoa Joe go at it in like a hard hitting battle. So like, they're probably a little worn out if I'm being honest. Ooh, a nasty neck breaker on the ropes. Uh-oh, Nikki Cross has got her. Ooh, she's getting her up. Ooh. Say nice little neck breaker. Katana with that two count. This one is headed outside, guys. Ooh, DDT. 
DDT outside of the ring. Like I said, this match isn't the most exciting at the moment. But it might be getting there. We just got to give it a chance, give it time. Yeah, the referee was dangerous. Ooh, Nikki Cross with a stomp on the back. Ooh. Diving headbutt. Somebody check that woman's brain after the match because that was a little unpleasant. If that was even her intent. Ooh, nice little Herc Rana face first into the ring mat. Ooh. Cross might have the win. It truly is tough to say who's going to win this match. Ooh, she missed a missile drop kick. Might be reversed here. Stages of the match. Oh, that'll send a shot down your spine. Katana perched up top. Katana might pull the win out. Ooh. Katana may have put the exclamation on this one. There's two. Ooh, she kicked out. She missed. And Nikki isn't looking helpless anymore. That could be the trigger for Nikki to battle her way back into this. This capacity crowd is really willing these competitors on. Ooh. It's moments like this that show you what you're made of. Her opponent has her cornered now. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Tell the whole DDT. She's caught. Ooh, Nikki Cross right into the barricade. So the crowd's on their feet for this match, ladies and gentlemen. I'm invested. I'm for game to sell. Okay, Katana's getting back in. Ooh, Nikki Cross. Ooh, she missed that suicide dive. She might be able to start mounting something here. That could be the trigger for Nikki to battle her way back into this. Boom! And now a chance on the receiving end again. You know that Nikki has to be having thoughts of ending things soon. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Ooh, weird kick. The suspense this crowd is feeling is palpable. They are waiting with bated breath. Ooh, Nikki Cross is setting her up. Nikki Cross has her hooked up. I don't know what this move is called. Oh, she's stopping though. Oh, oh reverse the pin. 
Ooh, Katana got the win on the champion. An unexpected win. Uh, we may have found our new number one contender, ladies and gentlemen. Clever is really the only word that can describe that victory. However you want to describe it, it's I mean, I can't say if the match should go the same way the second time, but maybe that's an idea for next week. That was an amazing match game. I have to agree with that. And thank you all for watching.